if this is the vector u and this is the vector v then this is the vector u minus the vector v so to see where this came from this is the vector u this is the vector minus v since it's going in the opposite direction to vector v so you can use the triangle law to add these two vectors which gives this vector as the result so this is minus the vector v plus the vector u using the triangle law and then this can be rewritten as the vector u minus the vector v so this shows us where we got this result up here we're going to use the cosine rule in our proof of the dot product so just a quick reminder this is a triangle with lengths A, B, C and this is the angle C the cosine rule states that the length of C squared is equal to the length of A squared plus the length of B squared minus twice AB times the cosine of the angle between A and B you should be familiar with this result already we'll also use one of the properties of the dot product that we've previously proved so the dot product of a vector with itself is equal to the modulus of the vector squared so to help us prove the dot product we're going to use this picture we're going to use the cosine rule and we'll be using this property this angle here is theta the angle between the vector u and the vector v so looking at the top picture and the using the cosine rule we can see that the length of u minus v to be squared is equal to the length of u squared plus the length of v squared minus twice the length of u times the length of v times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors so squaring this out then this is the dot product and this is equal to the right hand side so multiplying this out get the dot product of vector u with u minus the dot product of u with vector v minus the dot product of v with vector u plus the dot product of vector v with v and this is equal to the right hand side now the pro dot product of a vector with itself is the modulus of vector u to be squared we have here the dot product of vector u with vector v and the dot product of vector v with vector u so this is minus twice the product dot product of vector u with vector v and again the dot product of a vector with itself is the modulus of that vector to be squared so this is equal to the right hand side Now subtracting the modulus of u squared and v squared from both sides gives us this. the modulus of vector u squared minus the modulus of vector u squared is cancel the modulus of vector v squared minus the modulus of vector v squared so those cancel and we are left with this dividing both sides by minus two gives this
and this is precisely the formula we used for the dot product in video 11. So this completes our proof. The dot product of vector u with vector v is equal to the modulus of vector u times the modulus of vector v times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors.